Broadcasting all over the world at urbanbroadcastmedia.com. Delivering love and inspiration 24-7. This is UBM Praise. The following show is paid programming and does not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. Okay, ladies, do any of y'all want to hang with Sir Walter Jones on today? Yes! Yes, totally! Yes. No, no, not at all. We don't want you. Please don't come. No, I'm just joking. You can come along. Totally! A young man that you all know is Joe the Policeman from the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama. I want you to put your hands together and welcome him to the stage. Big round of applause. A Sir Walter Jones. Who is it? A Sir Walter Jones. What's his name? A Sir Walter Jones. Who show is this? A Sir Walter Jones. Who is it? A Sir Walter Jones. Say it again. A Sir Walter Jones. Who are you with? A Sir Walter Jones. One more game. A Sir Walter Jones. The Sir Walter Jones Show with co-host Alvin Carter. We are a Christian talk show in which we tackle all the hot topics in the believer's walk. It's Theology Thursday. If you love the Word of God, grab your Bibles and let's see what thus saith the Lord. Thursday. Join Thursday. Elder Jones and Pastor Carter in some good old-fashioned Bible study. Do you have the soggy bottom boys performing Man of Constant Sorrow? No, ma'am. We got a new shipment in yesterday. Sorry, but we just can't keep it on our shelves.
The Word of God is powerful, often misunderstood, but with proper study, you can gain accurate application of this potent source of life here on the Sir Walter Jones Show. Hello, everybody. Sir Walter, the Sir Walter Jones Show. How y'all doing? I am a man uh, of constant sorrow. <laughs> That is from my old brother, Where Art Thou? A great movie for those of you who are movie buffs and who don't know anything about cinema, cinematography and all that good stuff. You go, you go and you see it and you see some movies that you really like. But that movie right there, out of my top five greatest movies I've ever seen, Old Brother, Where Art Thou? is my favorite. Uh, it is, uh, let's see, I'll set you up here. Ulysses Everett McGill is George Clooney having difficulties adjusting to his hard labor sentence in Mississippi. So he scams his way off the chain gang with, with uh, uh, simple Delmar uh, that's played by T- uh, Tim Blake Nelson and uh, maladjusted Pete, <laughs> John uh, uh, Turturro. Uh, then the trio sets out to pursue freedom uh, and the promise of a fortune and buried treasure. With nothing to lose and still in the shackles, their hasty run takes them on an in- incredible journey of awesome experiences and colorful characters. That movie is also playing John Cam- uh, John Goodman. Uh, you got Charles Durning. Uh, he plays uh, Pappy. Pappy out, Daniel. You got Holly Hunter. Daniel Von uh, Bargain. And he plays the Sheriff uh, Co- uh, Sheriff Co- uh, Cooley, I think his name is. You got Michael Badaluco uh, as uh, George... George T. Nelson, <laughs> that's my name, <laughs> and John uh, McConnell as uh, Woolworth. Stay out of the Woolworth. Those of you who don't know that movie, who have never seen it, go and rent it from iTunes. Matter of fact, the entire movie is on YouTube. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That was John T. Nelson. Uh, uh, it was released December 22, 2000, and um, directed by those Coen brothers. <laughs> those boys i don't know what's in their minds as joel and ethan cohen uh soccer bottom boys i am a man and there was the opening and uh you know sometimes you wonder where these directors be thinking when they write some of the scripts for these actors uh and i have a guest here who is in theater um he is a chicago boy but lives in uh brooklyn i think it is new york He's here. Um, he I, he invited me to hear him speak last night at a whim. He just hit me in the inbox. Hey, man, come see me. I'm in town. I'm like, okay, you know what? That's what friends do. And I went to go check him out. Over there, uh, our good friend and brother, uh, Dr. Uh, Ray um, Barry Hill, and um, that amazing choir and church that he, he ministers. Matter of fact, it's because of Barry Hill. My church, uh, Faith Temple, lost uh, the Verizon Wireless uh, competition a few years ago because <laughs> Barry Hill <laughs> set that place on fire. The Chicago, uh, we, we were at the the Madhouse on on Madison where we were at, yeah, yeah, United Center, and they shut it down. Barry Hill shut it down, and I've been upset with him ever since. <laughs> so, so I went to the church last night to see my dear brother here. I speak and uh and Barry Hill was like, Oh, that that's that that's that dude that be talking uh uh, tr- uh trash on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we had a great time. Uh Nikolai uh, Demone and I always say his name differently, but that's okay. He let me get away with it. How you doing, brother? Uh, I'm blessed, man. I'm great. I'm happy to be here. Man, I'm glad uh, that you are here. Oh man, it was so great to have you guys yeah. out last night. Yeah. Uh and we- and to to share, and I'm I'm home. I'm home in Chicago. I'm running around yeah. here, uh, like a the song says, "I'm a stranger here myself," because <laughs> everything is different. Oh, I know, I know. Oh I'm man, it, it ain't like when you when you left. How long you been gone? Uh, coming up on ten years. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and then changed. <laughs> last year, I was back here for a minute, but even from last year. Mm-hmm. Things have changed. Things look different, and buildings are up, and mm-hmm. buildings are down, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Um, so it's 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 been interesting. I I said I wasn't going to rent a car when I was here. Oops, and that's going to change because <laughs> uh, you know, look, I'm in New York, and and you know, I take the train 
everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. And I'm I'm also a pastor that does that. I don't I mm-hmm. want to I want to be with the people mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. hear what they're talking about and see what they're feeling, uh, especially in That's a time good. when people in the community would tell me, "You're the only pastor that that talk to us." Uh <laughs> that's problematic. So I don't I don't jump in my Nissan Murano and and yeah. jet off. Uh I get in and I hang with the people and so I want to do that here and I'm I'm changing my tune tomorrow. I'm getting a- <laughs> Yeah, too- Let's talk about that, man, since, <laughs> since you brought that up. You know, I rant on my show all the time about the uh, the attitude of the Christian towards the world. Yeah. All right. We in an exclusive spot. Some of us, I think our church become club med. In yeah. A sense, okay. Unfortunately. Yeah. We have and we have our choice seats when we get in there. Yep. OK. Anybody who come in there looking any way different. If they ain't got a shoot a, a, a suit and tie and thing like that, okay, and, and, okay, and then don't sit in Mother Mayhem seat, absolutely, okay, and what have you, and so what? But but when we left the house, getting in our uh, Cadillacs, what have you, mm-hmm. we drove by all those people, you you know, absolutely. all those, okay, mm-hmm. and we when we went in the, in the church, and some of our churches even lock the doors on Sunday morning, absolutely, mornings, okay, because they don't, you know, and then uh, we leave and drive by them same. At least they consistent. They people. locked on the week mm-hmm. too. At least they consistent. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, the locked doors, Church of God in Christ. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and and so uh, Monday through Saturday, you do not see these people. Mm-hmm. You might, if you see them, you might see them in Walgreens, Walmart, or they may work with you on your job. You mean the armor bears? Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Um, arm, yeah, yeah. Adjutants. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because the, the 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 pastors uh, <laughs> and the elders and what have you, they're they're at home or they're on the job. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now they're on they on the what secular job. job. I was right, gonna say what right, job? The on. secular job. Okay. Um, the only time you might see them is when. Uh, two things might happen. The a catastrophe. Uh-huh. Okay, it may happen. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, the police shoot some black guy. Mm-hmm. Now they're, they're marching hand in hand in Absolutely. hand. Absolutely. They don't talk to each other throughout the year. They don't even talk to each other. Yeah, but when the cameras are on, everybody's Everybody. trying to overcome. Jump we in. shall. I, I, can't <laughs> even, I can't even take it. You know in touch. I tell you what, man. It really makes me sad. Let me just back up because you mentioned a whole bunch of things. And mm-hmm. Let me just talk to you. Do your thing. Um I, I I am bishop of the City of Hope Church now. We've planted, in 10 years, we've planted four four churches, three mm. churches. Mm. Well, we oversee another, and we planted three over. Uh, uh, and the one thing that people talk about when they come to our church is that the only entity that is honored is God. Mm. Wow. That's it. Mm. The only one with a prominent place in the sanctuary is God. Really? I don't sit in the same place twice. Wow. I've a doggone sure don't sit in the pulpit where everyone's standing in my face. Wow. Uh, I you, don't need to sit in the front seat. Oh, so you don't uh, have a throne? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, no, mm-hmm. no, I, no. I don't even want that responsibility. Mm. <laughs> I don't want that responsibility. Most folks sitting on thrones can't even handle what comes with it. Ooh, ooh. Uh, oh, oh. So do, that's do a again, whole other. Do that again. Do that again. Yeah. That's, there you go. You yeah, get two. You get two. Get Nobody's two. ever got look, two. Look, man. Yeah. Well, I say, hey. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's number one. You know, we have to understand uh, from from in our sanctuaries that the only person to be reverenced is God. Right. But there's an indication that if you have to be reverenced in your sanctuary, sure. uh, before you get to your sanctuary, then something's going on at home. Mm. That's a whole other conversation. Yeah, yeah. See, see, um, see, see. That's why you're here. Right? So when you come into the sanctuary, you know, people looking around, you know, where bishop, where pastor, where so-and-so. And I'm like, one day I'll sit in the back. One day I'm sitting in the corner. Another day, I'm, I shoot, I might be. Uh, you don't know where I'm going to be. You don't know where I'm be. I'm on the piano. I, look, I, well, that's true too. There are times when I jumped on. I don't hit the organ though. I leave that for you. Yeah, thank you, sir. I can't handle it. Stay in your lane, man. I see you flicking that thing. I think I told you this. Yeah, you so much just flicking that little side <laughs> thing. I'm like, why is he flicking why that thing flicking so that much? Thing? I'm like, the like, every switch. Drrr, flick, drrr. No, uh, but uh, <laughs> because I'm not the one. You know, if you come to see me, you come for the wrong reason. Yeah. And I'll let you know, I got issues. And mm-hmm. we talked about this last night. Uh, that, But you can't begin to address the issues in your community until you address the issues with yourself. Oh, boy. Yeah. And so in this city, and I can talk about home because I keep my eye on home, uh, even though I'm in New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff going on where the kingdom has become a laughing stock. Oh, boy. We can't be taken seriously. We come up with these grand plans, and I'm not talking about nobody's dreams or endeavors. Uh, But until we start to deal with the issues internally, 
No one cares that you're trying to make black lives matter because you're living your life in a way that your life doesn't matter. Let me ask you a question. There's a campaign about black lives matter. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I, you know what? I, I make I have mixed emotions about it. I'm a, can I just, before you even ask a question? Can I just jump all over <laughs> again? I ain't got no mixed emotions okay, about it. Okay, all right, thank you. It. You want folks to honor your life, <laughs> mm-hmm. you honor your life. Okay. And black folk, brown folk, whatever, they're, they're, we we real good at wanting to pass the buck. I'll say it, you yeah. can hate me, whatever, I'm going home <laughs> on Sunday, Monday. Uh, you know, we, we don't want to take responsibility. Everybody want to blame somebody else. The white man did this, the white man doing this, the man is doing this. Look, man, that white man did not put that gun in your hand and right. tell you to shoot randomly into the air. Right. And then hit a four year old in the head. That white sure. man didn't tell you to do that. Right. I'm not talking about slavery because you ain't never had no chain on, not unless you got the cuffs on that you had right. put on yourself. True. You didn't get on nobody's boat. You've never even been in the transatlantic, so you don't even know never. what that's like to swim over there. <laughs> you let can, alone you can't swim. No, you talking? can't even swim. So I don't want to hear about that. Oh, it's the <laughs> systemic effects of slavery. I get it, whatever. Oh, but let go. me tell you something. No, we, we've got to move beyond that. We build up all of these excuses, you know? And so when stuff breaks down, we never want to look internally mm. mama if you know pookie yo pookie is the one that's shooting one. you need to turn pookie's butt in yeah but we do a lot of masquerading and so because our stuff is a mess no one else is gonna honor your mess you uh you you just stepped on a whole lot of toes yeah so i you, heard out there in the airway they was going ouch, 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 look, look, ouch, stay, stay ouch. Yeah, see look see? i'm i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired of people waiting for somebody else to do it Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm coming over here now. And this is another reason why I take the bus, because I don't like to preach about what I don't see or okay. what I don't breathe in yeah. or what I don't mm-hmm. make myself physically mm-hmm. available to. Mm-hmm. Um, when I see brothers just hanging out. Yeah. For no reason. Look, mm-hmm. my wife would tell me and my I'm a little flexible in my my career as an actor, director and as a pastor. Uh, you know, I have a little bit of flexibility in how I go about my day. Right. Uh, but my wife would tell me one thing. Uh, bruh. When I'm up, going to the job, you need to be up, suited, and tied up like you going somewhere. Yeah. Act like you going somewhere if wow. you ain't going somewhere. Wow. We got brothers who, they, 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 look, I ain't going nowhere. I don't care about going nowhere. I'm mm. chilling right here on the corner. Mm. Nothing bringing in to sustain the family, mm. to sustain lives. Mm. And so I'm, I'm heartbroken that you don't even, we, we're not even making efforts. Yeah. At 8 o'clock in the morning. Yep. I got up to take a run mm-hmm. and just saw brothers just chilling. They up early. Chilling. Up yeah. early to chill. Uh-huh. That's problematic. That's amazing. That's problematic. And some of them never did go to bed that L- night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's problematic. Yeah. And so I, you want you want someone to honor your life. And look, we should honor all life. All life is valuable. Yeah. Right. But you have to value the life. Right. You've got to get up and do something that's going to make a difference, mm-hmm. a positive difference. Mm-hmm. You're shooting and ganging and slinging. It, that, that's not a positive difference. No. That's detrimental to the community. Sure. I wonder um, if there's a there's a mentality. There's a there's a psychological um, uh, dysfunction here. Um, I remember years ago, um, a bunch of kids broke in my house. Mm-hmm. Okay. This was se- several years ago in the nineties. <clears throat> All right. I was on the job. I'm on the job. I'm working. Mm-hmm. Okay. My mom called me and said, somebody, somebody at your house. She lived across the street from me. Mm-hmm. She says, I saw something coming out of your window. Mm-hmm. I says, uh, I says, I'm coming. I'm on my way home now. Uh, I, cause she thought I was home. Mm-hmm. So she was checking. She says, Walter, are oh, you at the job? That means you ain't at home, uh, throwing stuff out your window. I says, okay, you call the cops, I'll be on my way. I got there, and I walked in, of course, like, yeah, someone had broken my house. Uh, and um, so I got a police report. A couple of days later, uh, I saw, I, I, and it all made sense to me, because the um, the little boy, prior to them breaking into my house, there was a guy messing with my sister, I think it was. Mm-hmm. He was picking on my sister, and I stopped him. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And then he said he he cussed at me and he walked away. Mm-hmm. All right. Then uh, my house got broken in a couple of days later, and then a couple of days after that, I'm I'm in front of my lawn and this same boy walked by me. And he said, mm-hmm, "That's what you get." Mm-hmm. And he started walking away, and then I got it. Mm-hmm. So he's the one that broke in my house yeah. as a revenge. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I said, "Okay, I got your number. I know who you are." All right, I know where you lived. Mm-hmm. All right, well, few few days later, my brother Rodney, okay, we knew his mom. We knew his mom, single parent, 
my brother Rodney was had to go to her house for some reason for something because he's a carpenter. He do work in, in the neighborhood, and he walked in there and guess what he saw in her house? Hmm. Oh no! My stereo system, of course. Okay, it's not in, it's not in her in the kids' room and in in, hidden in the it's in the front room mm-hmm. in her living room. Mm-hmm. My brother looked at her and says, uh, "Did you buy this?" She said, "No, my son got this." He says. He says, your son is in grammar school, and in your living room sits a $1,200 stereo, stereo set. Mm-hmm. You never asked your son where, where it come from. No. She said, no, no, I, you know, I don't fool. She, he said, really? You know what my brother did, as bold as he is? Took that he, thing. He unplugged it. I bet you he did. He sure did, and, did. Gro- and took it home to well, me. But look what you said. You said one thing. You said, your brother said, you got a twelve hundred dollar stereo system yeah. that your grandma's school child mm-hmm. bought up in here. Yeah, and what did she say? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't. Yeah. That's part of the dysfunction. That's the, that's the dysfunction. That's the dysfunction. Mm-hmm. But I, you know what? You can't. Bl- you you can hardly blame her because mm-hmm. in in the last what twenty thirty years, mm-hmm. you're dealing with the culture who did not have parents. There you go. Yeah. You know, so you had the, and there was a popular phrase, kids having kids, right. babies having babies. Right. But that's a reality. Yeah. And so there's a systemic, we talk about systemic problems. Mm-hmm. That's a systemic, systemic. problem in yeah. the family structure. Yeah. But again, that only comes because people aren't out valuing their lives in a way that says, look, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to one hook up with someone. We got people hooking up with folk just to hook up. Yes. And they're, they're not even considerate of what happens after you hook up. It's a 45 minute hour at the most. Maybe I'll give you your props, uh, gratification mm-hmm. session. Mm-hmm. But then nine months later, mm-hmm. 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 there's something that's coming into the world right. that has no sense of direction. Not at all. Your parents had no sense of direction right. when they were making you. Right. That it can't you can't even call them parents. They were just play buddies. Sure, sure. They got together and made you yeah. with no sense of the fact that you were coming or what they were gonna do once you got here. No planning. Bruh hit it, made us drop the seed and took off. Go. And so now you've got women trying to raise little boys uh-huh. into men. True. Confusion. Confusion. You've got men, well, boys who uh-huh. grew up to man age, right. but still have boy mentality. mentality. Yeah. So there's no sense of how can I direct this little mm-hmm. life mm-hmm. when my life is moving mm-hmm. in such mm-hmm. uh, crazy directions. Mm-hmm. That's systemic. Yeah. But I can't even lay the blame with them. Right. We grew up in a time, man, I grew up on the west side of Chicago. Mm-hmm. There was always, and I preached about this a few weeks ago in New York. There was always a Stacy King in everybody's neighborhood. Oh Who is Stacy King? Wow. Stacy King was the man. He was the man. Sure. Stacy was paid. Mm-hmm. He had a house on every block. Mm-hmm. Drove a caddy that was changed out every six months. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was the one you looked up to. Right. And he was the one. Stacy was the one who would call you out on your stuff. Hmm. When I stole something from Mr. Granger's store, mm-hmm. Stacy got wind of it, kicked my behind. Then my grandmother kicked my behind. <laughs> and then my uncles kicked my behind. Cool and then my mama kicked my behind. Right. And my father died shortly after I was born. So it was my godfather who then kicked my behind because Stacy had to kick my behind. There was always a Stacy who was looking out for the community. And everyone in that community had folks who could mm, put you back in order. Right. That was, the uh, that was that was the village. Yes. But alongside Stacy was Pastor So and So. Right. Stone Temple's door were yes, always sir. open. Ooh. Sanctuary of Holiness doors Lord were always Lord. open. Tabernacle Church Ooh. of God in Christ man. was always open. What you know Fizer, about that, man? Pfizer Temple, Temple always open. Lord have mercy. You can walk up in there. The Better Boys Foundation Ooh. always open. You had these places where the community was pouring into you pouring into the little folks you had gangbangers this is what's a trip now you had gangbangers i'll never forget i'll call his name cortez mick johnson mm-hmm. that was his name cortez mick johnson he was a gangbanger who told me if he caught me on the streets he was gonna kick my behind mm. we don't have gangs like that anymore no we don't have gangs like that no, anymore no. so we've lo- we, <laughs> a moral we, game right <laughs> but, but my point was it's the church yeah and everybody go, well, you can't expect the church to do everything. No, we called. Yeah. We're called. 
we're called to affect the lives of the community where we are. Mm -hmm. And so because you've locked your doors Monday through Saturday and then you lock them at 1130 on when Sunday. all your folk are in on Sunday who've come in from other communities. They're not even part of they the don't community where you're at. Yeah. There, there is no moral compass. Right. But let's not talk about moral compass because now the the butt of the joke is in the kingdom, we can't even be the moral compass because we're busy having pictures being found with us hanging to the left. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. I ain't calling nobody out. No, I'm, I just, saying I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying. Mm -mm. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm I'm just saying. Mm -mm. And look, we all got stuff. We all got stuff. But <laughs> if you want to act like you don't have no stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, sorry y'all. Avocados walked in. And, uh, Hello, lights. He can't I'm, say, just, I'm he, just saying. He can't I'm just saying. Speak. So there's no moral compass. Yeah. Because now <laughs> we're, the church the is not the the church is not the church anymore. <laughs> to the left. To the Shut up, Alvin. Shut up. You know. Now you got pastors who don't want to pastor communities. They want to be celebrities. Oh, they That's be global. oxymoronic. Yeah. Global, but you can't even be communal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You, you got international <laughs> ministries, but you can't. You can't even. Not, I'm not even going to talk about national. You skipped national church. Oh, you were straight into that. You you jumped over your neighborhood yeah. <laughs> to try to jump to Zimbabwe. We have no take the city. Look, take the city. Take, the, yes, take yes, the city. Take the city. Right. Take you, your you can't even take your neighborhood. Yeah, that's the true. folk in your neighborhood looking at you like you crazy. Yeah. And I don't even have to get spiritually deep. We got our Bibles out on the mm -hmm. table, mm -hmm. but but it's not even that deep. Right. What are we to do? What does the prophet say? Uh, what does God require of you? Yeah. To love justice, yeah. to do mercy, and walk humbly before your God. That's the tenets of the church, yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's social justice, right sure. there. Sure. You can, we can, uh, you can't. It's in black and white. Right. It's not deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not deep. And so yeah, but you got to start that internally first. Right. Right. Yeah. It's too late to start marching when your butt ain't out there with Negroes. I'll tell you what about Meeks. What I appreciated about Meeks and when I was pastoring here at Nazareth Community Church, we used to do it. We were on the corners. Every day, sure. We had folks on six blocks radius mm -hmm. around Nazareth mm -hmm. praying and talking to folk. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, what you need? Can we mm -hmm. pray with you? Mm -hmm. You know, you you need to talk about stuff. We sure. here, we'll listen to you. Sure. And look, we're not trying to get you to join the church, but we got food at the church. Won't you come and hang out at the church? Yeah. We can keep talking. Yeah. I'll say what you want about Meeks, but the brother had that, that that whole area over there. Folks prayed up on the corner, and that's great. We can, man, you can't, unless cameras are out there yeah. watching you, you can forget it. I tried to organize a march here. Yeah, I remember. I tried to I organize a march here to address gun violence. Yeah. We got thousands of people to come to D.C. And they and I was on that phone call, and they were like, I don't want to march. For what? It, that doesn't make any sense. But they wasn't doing much of anything else. Right. Yeah. There was, was no promise of yeah. cameras. Yeah. Now, if I told you the cameras were going to be there. Oh, they'd have been there. BET, yeah. ABC, yeah. CBS, yeah. Al Sharpton's going to swing mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. Elemental P. Mm -hmm. you, you know? <laughs> it, it's crazy. So this, this is the problem. So if you want black lives to matter... We've got to look internally. Are you going to school? You can't tell me school's not a possibility for you. I got four earned degrees, and I grew up on the west side of mm -hmm, Chicago. Mm, mm. So right. it's possible. It is possible. Four earned degrees, two yeah. Emmy Awards, Broadway credits. Yeah. I jumped over. It's yeah, possible. It, is, it is no secret. <laughs> uh oh, where the piano? What God can do? Oh. We, you know, we, we not, so we've got to get back there. Yeah, we do. That, and so I'm trying to get with pastors. To a place called there. Well, mm -hmm. you know, that preaches. That oh, preaches. yeah, it does. Yeah. That preaches. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to talk to pastors, Cal Alvin. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to talk to pastors. But I can't talk to pastors because they want to know. Am I going to preach? Am I going to preach? Are we going to get the envelope at the end of yeah. the night? And what's my stipend? What? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got to go to we break. We don't have pastors anymore. We have CEOs. <laughs> CEOs. Yeah, presidents. CEOs. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Listen, uh, I didn't want to get a word in edgewise. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. That. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to say I'm nothing. Your show be taking over again. <laughs> <laughs> the second takeover. Oh, and you I'm hear sorry. this time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so no, sorry. don't be sorry. I'm Please. passionate don't about it. Don't be talking it. about nothing. No way. I don't be talking about nothing. No <laughs> I'm way. passionate about it. I'm sick man. Of listen, it. well, you got a whole another hour and a half to be passionate. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> we gonna be oh. here. We going back to old brother. Where art thou? This song here is another cute song called "Down in the River." Down in the river to be baptized from that great movie, Old Brother. Where art thou? Just playing y'all some, some. You sound did the bite. soundtrack. Oh, oh come on. Bites, man. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just what a way to come home. back home. Oh yeah, favorite yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Favorite yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going there, and we're gonna talk about some, you know, some movies yeah. and what have you. You know, the, the, uh, Demon is just well-rounded guy, as you can tell. He, 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 he's in everybody's. Uh, hey man, we can't let him crack yeah. jokes on us. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, it's on today. You know it's on today. Well-rounded. Is that a joke or what? So on the Joe Show. I'm trying to talk about man, I got you well rounded. <laughs> Oh, 
log on to urbanbroadcastmedia.com and check out the many services Urban Broadcast Media provides. Whether it's social media, video production, radio broadcasting, or audio recording, we got you covered. Appears to be some kind of a congregation. Care for some gopher? No, thank you, Delmer. A third of a gopher would only arouse my appetite without bedding her back down. Oh, you can have the whole thing. Me and Pete already had one. We ran across a whole gopher village. Flush the chump. Everybody's looking for answers. Where the hell's he going? Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Delmar has been saved. Well, that's it, boys. I've been redeemed. The preacher done washed away all my sins and transgressions. It's a straight and narrow from here on out. And heaven everlasting's my reward. Delmer, what are you talking about? We got bigger fish to fry. The preacher said all my sins is washed away, including that piggly wiggly I knocked over in Yazoo. I thought you said you was innocent of those charges. Well, I was lying. And the preacher said that that sin's been washed away, too. Neither God nor man's got nothing on me now. Come on in, boys. The water is fine. Class, you're my butter lovers, right? Right. Now, I know you folks love butter more than anything except me. (laughs) So, Julie's got something special for your pancakes. Lock cabin buttered syrup. Why, it's got that good old-fashioned flavor with real butter, too. Rich, thick, and smooth, just the way you like. Take Julie's advice. Fix up your pancakes with Lock Cabin buttered syrup. Butter lovers truly love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, when can I pick up the pictures? Thursday. This Thursday. Okay, let me make a note of that. You're going to write it down there? I was going to, Oh, yeah. then uh, let's say Tuesday. You mean two days earlier? No, five, five days, days later. Five days later, uh-huh. I thought as much. If this customer were at a Photomat store, we'd be introducing him to our brand new picture pickup promise. Photomat's way of telling you exactly when your pictures will be ready. That quick? Sure, and if it doesn't work out, you get a free roll of film. Oh, no, 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 no. You get in trouble oh, for it's that. It's no I problem. Mean, yeah. huh? It's a photomat policy. The photomat picture pickup promise. Is there a photomat store around here. Hey, this is Julie Norwood with 60 seconds of cool inspiration for your day. Well, it's easy to allow things, talents, skills, gifts, or titles to determine your self-worth. When we do that, we become skewed in our own self-worth. And it's based on performance and not the truth of who we really are. You know what? God views us as his child. And our failures, our bad habits, our self-image, our weaknesses, our poor performances have nothing to do with who we are and how God loves us. On the contrary, when we look down on ourselves, we actually can hinder ourselves with our own skewed self-worth. Today, make the necessary adjustments to see yourself as a child of God. What lies do you need to stop believing and what truths do you need to start believing? (laughs) 
That's 60 Seconds of Cool Inspiration with Julie Norwood. For more inspiration, check out my webpage, julienorwood.com. God loves you, and he has an awesome plan for your life. Yes! The following show is paid program and does not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. Hi ho and welcome back. Welcome back. The word of God is powerful, often misunderstood, but with proper study, you can gain accurate application of this potent source of life here on the Sir Walter Jones Show. Speak law, speak to me. JulieNorwood.com. She said, Don't get caught up in your titles. Those of y'all are just, you can't. Somebody speak to you and you say, Don't call me Joe, call me Apostle Joe. <laughs> Put a handle on that. Son. Put a handle on that. <laughs> y'all are so caught up in it, but let me tell you. Uh, when a military general, if he's walking up and down my neighborhood, uh, I don't have to salute him as a civilian. I don't have to. I don't even have to call him general. If I want. Out of respect, I might do it, but I don't have to do that. We who have these positions, apostles, pastors, bishops, elders, what have you, when we walk up and down the streets of Chicago, wherever you are, and you're talking to somebody who went on Lord of Church, you don't know nothing about, and you want him to call you by that name, <laughs> it's the same thing as you calling the general and saluting him. You don't have to do that. He ain't got to do that. <laughs> you know, he's not required to do that. As a matter of fact, you you come off very pompous, yep. and you can't win him no more because now what you're doing is saying I'm above you. Yep. Uh, and this is why I love the the Monet and the fact that he just rides the bus and trains or whatever where we go because the people know his face. Yep. And not only he's not just in church, and the man is in theater. Okay, yeah. you got to go. Paul says I'm all things to all men, so that I might win so some. Might win some. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and you're not compromising. <clears throat> because I love going to theater. Matter of yeah. fact, the last theater I went to, I saw a whole lot of church folk up in there. Yeah. Okay, and we was enjoying some wholesome theater. It was wonderful. I'm going to go see the one called Singing in the Rain. Y'all know the old yeah. mm-hmm. um, Singing in the Rain. And it was the most amazing thing I had seen on stage because they recreated the whole rain scene on stage. Yep. Yep. They they literally plugged in uh, water, um, whatever you call it. Uh-huh. Sprinklers. sprinklers sprinklers on the stage and yep. it came down and it rained down and yep. it rained down and the guy was with his umbrella was yep. seen and it was amazing yeah. and then i went to go see the rockets uh-huh. okay and the where they have taken stage props to today Technology. is amazing yes it is yeah. amazing and they so they they're using now the green screen and what have you now yep. you know and it's just an amazing and it is wholesome Entertainment, okay, and intellectual, but you, but and you, intellectual. Sure. But you see, here's what's interesting. Mm-hmm. Here's, um, because yeah, it's wholesome. But what about when it's not wholesome? Mm. Mm. I was doing my MDiv while I was doing Rent on Broadway. Oh, oh yeah. you did Rent, and I played Collins, mm-hmm. and Collins. Yeah, had forever, HIV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he had a boyfriend who was Angel. a transsexual. Mm. You played and that so, role, and I played that while wow. doing my MDiv, wow, and pastoring a church. Uh oh, and so you know the folk, yeah, came for me. Oh yeah, see, but here's here's our here's my problem, and it goes back to what we were talking about. Sure. You know, we are called to compel those mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to come into right. Um, how can you compel those to come into if you don't go out? Sure. That's number one. Sure. But then number two, I always tell people, you got to remember, and I've been I've been hanging in this in the in the gospels, particularly around Jesus's crucifixion mm-hmm. and that that whole that whole saga. But remember, when Jesus finally died, right, mm-hmm. and they needed his body, who did they send to go get the body? To there was there was a dude. Named yeah. Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea. Of Arimathea. Yeah, Joseph. Now, what's deep about Joseph of Arimathea? This Bible, this contextual theology. Come on with that. What's the it's what's Thursday. the what's the what's, <laughs> what's the <laughs> what's the what's so deep about Joseph of Arimathea? Joseph sat on the council. 
he had a prominent position on the council that elected to crucify and then crucify Jesus. Mm. Wow, now that I did not realize. You know it. He had a the Bible said he had a prominent mm-hmm. position. Yes. He didn't call he didn't so they, that means they looked at him that way. Right? Yes. It was Joseph and Joseph here's the other thing we know about Joseph. Joseph sat on the council mm. while he was waiting on the kingdom of God. Mm. So what does that say? That God can give us evangelistic detail mm. in places where other f- saved and sanctified folk would never go. Mm. But Jesus' body could have been taken and done whatever with. Mm. But right. when Joseph knocked on the door, old boy could have tucked it and told everybody, I don't want to deal with nobody else. I don't want to deal with nobody else. I don't want to deal with him. But Joseph knocks on the door. Who is it? Joseph. God dog. I got to <laughs> let him in. I got to let him in. And so Joseph, because of him sitting on the council, was able to get Jesus' body to go and bury it. Here's my point. If we do not get outside of the mindset that we have to stay in the church and expect that when we're in, we're going to get people to come in, that we're going to get people to, to, to come into a relationship with God through Christ, we, we've missed the point. We've missed the boat. Right. What, what is, what is the, the light of the world can you can you can you possibly be a light but then there's darkness over there and you're trying to tell darkness okay you need some light mm-hmm. and you over here and you have the light mm-hmm. and i think your your point is uh how can we be a light of the world if we're not in dark places we're not giving the light yeah you the gotta light go is brightest in. say that again yeah. the light is brightest yeah either together or in darkness yeah yeah the individual light is di- brighter in a darker area, yeah, and greater and more greatly appreciated, yeah, yeah. Because right now this room is full of light, right, mm-hmm. right. And uh, we use in my fraternity the word light all the time, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and <laughs> <clears throat> I, I, we got no but, cameras. I can't. I can't <laughs> show you uh, but <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> I'm not but, even gonna do it because I can't do that. Go but ahead. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> but the light shines brightest when it's not around other lights. Yes, because that's when you're being watched. Yeah. Mm. But but here's the problem then, because mm. you just said something deep. Many of us can't be Joseph because Joseph nowadays would get overtaken by the darkness. Mm. Thus, pictures of folk running around doing crazy things. Yeah. Right. And so God can't assign some folk to evangelistic details like in a bar. Because he knows if he puts you in the bar, the bar's going to eat your butt up and spit you out. Right. But we're needed in the bar. I've done a lot of witnessing in the bar. Look, man. Man. That I could not do even in a church. Look, I'm needed in the theater. I got to come to the theater. True. I got cast yeah. members who would come to me, bro, and be yeah. like, man, if you only knew. I do know I'm in the industry with you. But you're empowered to get through. I'm going to test you on your message last go, night. Go, okay, go ahead. All right. This is this was a great analogy, okay, and I I believe in giving credit where credit is due. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me ask you this question: Do you play golf? Uh, a little bit. Okay, so a, go- a little bit. So a golf club in your hand is great. Is a joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's a weapon. All right. <laughs> but how? Who can? Whose hand can I put a golf club in and be great? Ooh, Tiger Woods. Really? Yeah. Why? Why is it? What's the difference between you and him? Well. Tiger's still great. T- Tiger's uh-huh. got skill. Uh-huh. Tiger's got skill with that club. Now, I see. We can talk about talk about his life and uh-huh. you know his misdeeds and women sure. and blah blah blah. Uh-huh. But you get that boy. You get that boy club yeah. even on his worst day. Okay. Yeah. The bro is bad. You play tennis? Uh, very little. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not that great. I'm not that great. Whose hands could I put that tennis? Oh, but if you in? put that tennis racket in the hands uh-huh. of Venus and Serena. Uh-huh. What happened? You get Wimbledon Ooh. after Wimbledon after Wimbledon. Yeah. 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 Really. Yeah. really. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Have, you, have you ever, if anybody ever came to you, they were sick and they needed some surgery and somebody put a knife in your hand. Oh, Are you, man. You good with knives? Oh, man. You put a scalpel in my hand, yeah. a knife in my hand. Uh-huh. I might cut you. Yeah. It ain't going to do much but for you. But you're going to bleed to death. You're going to bleed to death. So whose scalpel hands could oh, I put that Oh, man. In? You put that scalpel in Dr. Ben Carson's hand. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Okay. Well, I'll go oh, some yeah. twins. Ben's about to get <laughs> separated yes, successfully. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Really, really. Uh-huh. Hey, you play basketball? Nah, I do play a little bit of basketball. Really? You yeah. great? Oh, you, I ain't great. No. I, you know, you might get a good game yeah. if you put a basketball sure. in my hand. Sure, But but uh, But in the hands of who? Shaq, uh-huh. 
Kobe, yeah. LeBron, really? Jordan. Yeah. Really? Oh. <laughs> oh. You get million dollar endorsements with those brothers. Yeah. Wow, wow. Because, you know, it all depends. So it depends on the hand. Uh-huh. Whose hands you put Okay. It in. And and so and then there comes the authority. Here comes because the authority. Joseph ah, had the authority uh-huh. Absolutely. to take the body. Absolutely. Because of his place. Because of his place. See? See? The See, positioning. It all and, depends. Yeah. Yeah. It depends. And so we have the light. So we're really giving authority to carry the light. Yeah. Because I think y'all need to illuminate what y'all talking yeah. about. Yeah. It's going over some people's heads. Oh, no. we, don't want to go, we don't want to go over nobody's heads. We don't want to go over You said illumination. That's right there. <laughs> Enlighten the folks. Yes, sir. All right. Well, 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 well. Well, well. Break it down in plain English. <laughs> in other down. words, the Roman <laughs> government had no obligation to return his body <laughs> to his people. <laughs> After the penalty was executed, yes, they could have done whatever they wanted to do with that body. And they could have diced him, sliced him, tossed him over, left him there, and allowed the, the verge to come and because because if you recall, a bird had already came and got one of them before right. he was even oh, dead. Oh, that's, oh, right. Yeah. that's right. That's right. Oh yeah. So what they're trying to say to y'all people is this: Joseph was in the place, as he said. Evangelistic detail Detail is a military word Meaning mm-hmm. your assignment Exactly So he was in the right assignment mm-hmm. So that The prophecy would be fulfilled Come on now So that Give me that body Absolutely I'm gonna put him in my tomb Yep mm-hmm. Yep Yep. Put you never, and that was, of, that was part of that was part of a you gotta that, wait, I'm that, going that, that was part of the word last night you, you we can't we can't you 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 can't talk against or fight against you, you I, I haven't poured in a while I'm come sorry. on I'm I, I haven't poured in a while <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> I was, oh, yeah. I, I, I was caught him back. He got his in. He got his in. He got his in. Break it down, Doc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I, I yeah. ain't got nothing to say about it. No, I just. No, I, it was so was, powerful it, for you no, to bring that up. No, it, but and, it, and I think it just went over so many people's heads. They it's true, still don't get it, though. Well, because there are people who are specifically. I understand, placed. but see, the yep. fact that you played Collins. Uh-huh. And see, to put it in a more uh, uh, <laughs> simplistic yep. role for someone, yep. Colin, was back. Colin was a homosexual. He was a homosexual. He was a, there, he, he, you know, Angel was a transvestite. Was a transvestite. Was today for you, tomorrow yeah. for me. Come on, you better know the show. Oh, I, oh, I, know, I know, I know, Rick. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know. Next casting call, will you please help him out? Because he's no. been trying to get on the. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first of the month. Somebody need to pay my rent. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> it was like, but you know, like uh, live in my house. You know, yeah. refrain. Yep, yep. Still one of yep. the best love songs ever. Absolutely. It's just jacked up where it was going. Absolutely. But anyway, Absolutely. but the fact you portrayed a homosexual. I sure did. Yet you had a following in the flock to go I, ahead and take care of. I sure And did. in today's set, what's that song? Yep. Who was going to, because you have a lot of understanding. I know you said it came at you. It was like, mm-hmm. how are you going to sit up on stage? Yep. Kiss on this man. And, pre- and no, and pretend to be homo. They, yeah. but they missed the right. fact that you are pretending, pretending. to be. Yes, sir. Just like somebody said, how are you going to go ahead and have an issue with all these ministers acting up, doing this, that, and other, and, and, and watch Olivia Pope? Yep. It was like, Olivia Pope is not real. Yeah. Yes, she is. No, she uh, not. Yes, she is. No, she not. Yes, she is. No. Olivia Pope is patterned after several different women, including the woman that wrote the. You go over there to that church right there on Roosevelt Road. That's a sister Pope in there, I'm telling you. <laughs> that ain't and Olivia, I name Olivia. That ain't Olivia Pope. <laughs> okay, no, no, D. We D, I said rent, not soap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, take me back. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gone. Uh, uh, what's that song? 5,000, 6, 500, 525,600 minutes. Yeah, that's it. That's 525,000. Yeah. Hey, let's talk about, let's talk about hospitality. Yeah. And tending to those who are in need. Yes. Okay. Now we we talk, we did this on the show a few times, and I want to bring you in. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna talk about the sin of what was the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Okay. Go now, all right. Now somebody, if somebody could go there, who's got their their word uh, Ezekiel sixteen and forty nine. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna beat you over there. I'm gonna beat you. Yeah. <laughs> Ezekiel sixteen forty nine, because it is it is assumed um, that God doesn't really so much care about the poor that much mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay but all through scriptures uh the assumption has been uh, debunked because god cares about this yeah, the poor so much in scripture old and new till gotcha. it's 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 yes yeah, <laughs> okay now let's find out 
<laughs> what the sinners because we think that the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah was exclusive ex, uh, homosexuality, right. and as we read, we'll find mm. out that that's not the case. People better go to yeah. Mm-hmm. What what is the sin of Sodom? Let's go for it. Behold, mm-hmm. this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Yeah, pride, pride, fullness of bread. Mm. And abundance of idleness mm. was in her and in her daughters. Wow. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. Okay, you stop there. Yeah. Is there homosexuality in there anywhere? No. no, 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 no. no. It sound like a bunch of churches. Yeah, it sound mm-hmm. like it. So there's mm-hmm. pride. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then some of bre- bread. The pride. Well, fullness of bread. Mm-hmm. They're fat. In other words, <laughs> yeah. they've eaten food without nutritious, yeah. nutritious value. Because mm-hmm. bread really doesn't have no. much nutritious value. Yeah. It's just That's a filler. Yeah. So they're getting a whole lot of hooping, uh-huh. a whole lot of hollering, yeah. a whole lot of preaching that yeah. ain't mm-hmm. giving them no staying power. No, no, no. Stand. So they fat on nothing. Uh-huh. Fat yeah. on nothing. At least the fat I got is meat. It's fat on flour. <laughs> okay. okay. We're turning the glue. It's going to help yeah. me Now okay. you stuck in the pew. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, uh-huh. well. And then so, your mess. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So pride, oh, pride, oh. gluttony, and then what else? Uh-huh. An abundance of idleness. It yeah. ain't growing. It mm-hmm. ain't <laughs> going nowhere. Yeah, nowhere. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Just a faithful member. I mean, just a regular member. You ain't uh-huh. faithful. Because uh-huh. that's the difference between faithful and regular. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Now, now spell that idleness. Is it I D? I D L E N. Okay. Okay. Because I don't want y'all. Because there's some people think. Idle. Yeah. It's, right. it's different between it's different between the two. Objective. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you. And Chuck. subjective. All right. Come on, uh-huh. Come on uh-huh. now. Uh-huh. Ain't doing nothing. Well, yeah. Yeah. And then and then what's after that? It's like when your engine idle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You there ain't you going go. nowhere. And it says idleness was in her head uh-huh. Uh-huh. and in her daughters. Mm. Wow. That means your posterity isn't in there. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Your yeah. seed is out there. Your seed. <laughs> my God. My yeah, but You shooting like Jupalone Coyote. And your bullets ain't going nowhere. Ricochet rabbit. Bing, well, bing, bing. Well. <laughs> Where it is, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Ricochet? Yeah, you have a little fire cracker and it, it didn't do nothing. They call Dud. it what? Yeah. Like call Dud. it Dud. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, it. That was the reaction. Sound like an SBD. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Uh, and then what else? And neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. Wouldn't do yeah. it. Wouldn't do it. Yeah. Okay, so that's how many? That's, t- that's one to three? Three or four? That's a bunch. That's, okay. Now, okay. here, the people poor and needy, in that region of the world, there's mm-hmm. a, 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 a policy yeah. that if you are in need, mm-hmm. they are, I forget the word for it, but you're obligated you to provide obligated. for them. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. If, especially in wartime, mm-hmm. if you're the only soldier in that area, mm-hmm. the townspeople are supposed to protect you, yes, sir. hide you, cover you. Mm-hmm. They don't have no care or concern about who you fight and why you fight. You yep. by yourself and outnumbered, yep. we're supposed to make sure that it is level and fair. Yep. So, when you don't strengthen the poor and the needy, yeah. you actually violating culturally and, and spiritually, spiritually some oh, things. Yep. Lord have mercy. Because you're in a war. Yeah. You're in a war. Even if they might be your enemy. <laughs> yeah. But you're not in the war. You're the neutral party. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're supposed to help somebody. Yep. Wow. Okay, yep. well. So what they gay. So yep. what they're drug dealer right yep. now. Yep. They by themselves. So and what they're they, prostitute. Okay. So what they in sin. Yep. Help them. Help them. So what they're carpenter between jobs. Yep. Help them. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And I can be reached at. <laughs> uh, what else to say? And they were haughty. Haughty. Doing nothing and proud about it. Oh, Boy, you wow. didn't, I think I'm preaching this Sunday. Yeah. Come on now. And yeah. committed yeah. abominations before me. Okay. Yes. There, there goes the abomination. Abomination uh-huh. before me. Yeah, before Another, right, right in, in front my of me. face. Right in yep. front of me, y'all going to do You ain't even try to hide. Yep. At least Adam tried to cover up. Well. Least, you, you just, <laughs> take uh, it or leave it, boo. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Therefore, I took them away mm-hmm. as I saw good. That's as right. I saw good. So you were just inhospitable. You just didn't really care. Okay. Yeah. But but let's stay on this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Luke chapter ten. Let's talk about the Good Samaritan. Yeah. Hey All right. Yeah. Let's see if you oh, see yeah. if you both can break this down. Mm-hmm. Luke chapter ten. I think is starting at verse twenty five. Yeah. And let's let's break down this because this is this is what we do go every Thursday. Theology Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Well we 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 teach that time. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Luke ten twenty five. Luke ten. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is NIV. He That's fine. King James. That's fine. That's fine. On one All occasion, <laughs> an expert <laughs> mm-hmm, in the law stood uh, up to test Jesus. Yeah. Teacher, he said, uh-huh. what must I do to inherit eternal life? Okay. What is written in the law? Jesus said. Mm. How do you read it? He answered, 
Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind. Wow, all that. And love your neighbor uh -huh. as yourself. Wow. That man. That's powerful. That, wow. That, that, that preaches itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That wow. preaches itself. Yes, wow. Lord. Love your neighbor. Look, uh -huh. with, look, but not just love him. Uh -huh. Not love you got to love them with all of your heart. Oh boy. With all of your soul, uh -huh. with all of your strength, wow. with all of your mind. You got to love God and then you got to turn around and then love your neighbor as yourself. as yourself with all of that vigor. Oh boy. Well actually if you love God with all your thoughts, your heart, your mm -hmm. mind, your everything else then you mm -hmm. have no choice but, but to, love to love your, your neighbor. Yep, yep. So this is one of those so things. So that's the problem. What is that mm -hmm. called where mm -hmm. you have a, a situation where it revolves in upon itself? It's like if you do one you have you automatically do the Interdependence. Other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, there's another term for it. I'll figure mm -hmm. it out mm -hmm. next week. Mm -hmm. oh, next week, next yeah. week. Next week. Well, you got to continue to uh -huh. go into and, this and then and then and then it goes on mm -hmm. uh to say uh Jesus says, "You have answered correctly." Yeah. "Do this and you will live." Mm -hmm. But he wanted to justify himself. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. So he asked Jesus, "And who is my neighbor?" Okay. He comes to story. And this is what Jesus says. Uh-oh. There was a man who was going down <laughs> from Jerusalem well, yes, sir. Here go. You to hit? Jericho. There was a man uh -huh. Uh -huh. going down man. from Jerusalem. He was going down. Now, you notice that when the Bible always say going down or up, that means Jerusalem is on the hill. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Geographically, I don't know why they want to fight for that place. You know what I'm saying? Look, look. <laughs> because it's away from everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, he was going down. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. From Jerusalem, yes, sir, to Jericho, mm -hmm. from the top, yeah, to, to the, the bottom. bottom. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, when he was attacked, <laughs> come on now, that preaches itself right there. Yes, sir, we can just Ooh. hang right there. Uh, but when I was doing that, yeah, he was attacked uh -huh. by robbers. Okay, they stripped him of his clothes. Mm -hmm. They beat him mm -hmm. and went away, leaving Brum man mm -hmm. half dead. Wow. Mm -hmm. A priest. Mm -hmm. Happened to be going down. It's what art. This is what art comes road. in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was no, a priest in him. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> one for the day. <laughs> yeah. And when he saw the man, uh -huh. oh, rabbis, he passed by <laughs> on the <laughs> other side. <laughs> Wow! On the other side, on the other side. The he on didn't even want to be near him. Want to be near him? Wow. Didn't want to bother him. He's unclean. Yep. Yeah. Let me cross over. Wow. I ain't even going. I ain't even going that way. Wow. Yeah. He crossed over mm. on the other side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So too, yeah. a Levite. Uh oh, oh that, that's y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, When he came to the place and saw him, uh -huh. he too, wow, passed by on the other side. On the other side. Well, he said he came and looked at him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> at least he looked at him. <laughs> but a Samaritan. Oh, oh. Hey man, you all right? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a half guy. Yeah, Samaritan was wasn't the greatest to be. In no, that land. no, no, because he no. was a crossbreed. Yeah, he, yeah. he wasn't. Breed. True pure blood. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. As he traveled, this half breed, he came where the man was. Uh. Oh, that's number one. Mm -hmm. He came where he was. Mm -hmm. Everybody else crossed the street, went yeah. the other way. Yeah. And then when he saw him, he took pity on him. Compassion is a better word. It's compassion. <laughs> yeah. Compassion. Come, on, yeah. Come on. Come on. He's on that. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And then he went to him. He went to him. Yeah. And then he bandaged his wounds. He touched yes, him. He touched him. He touched him. Mm. Pouring on oil and wine. Ah, he gave him this substance. Hey. Gave him this that's, substance. that's money. That's money. That's how wages were uh -huh. paid. Uh -huh. Oil and wine. Oil and wine. That's the Holy Ghost that brings uh -huh. yeah. And then <laughs> he put the man on his donkey. <laughs> he exerted his strength. Yeah. yeah. And inconvenienced yeah. himself. And inconvenienced himself. Wow. Because he can't get on that donkey now. He's no. got to walk some. He got to walk some. That's right. Uh huh. Uh, and then he brought him to an inn, and he took care of him. Wow. I like that. Holiday yeah. Inn Express. He took care. Of Holiday. Yeah. It, so that means all of the addressing that he did on the road that was just the beginning. He yes. That was enough to sustain him uh -huh. until he on could the get journey to better care. Uh -huh. Uh, -huh. Uh, -huh. uh huh. And then when you got to better care, yeah, I gave you better care right there. Yeah. I hooked yeah. you up some more. I hooked you up. Here's what I did, and it gets better. Yeah. Then the next day, mm. he took out two denarii. Oh Lord. $64. Yeah, well, yeah. there you go. Money. And he gave them to the innkeeper. Mm. Paid his rent. Mm. Mm. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I'll reimburse you for any extra expense <sighs> you may have. Y'all, listen. We going to commercial, right? Yes, is we we going to, here's the question. 
Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robber? Well, well, I guess we're going to talk about that when we come it back. It ain't the beat. I'm pouring. Ain't the talented. We going to Paul Lazarus, recorded 1959. Oh, brother, where are thou? These are the boys on the chain gang. Mm. This is the sound of a man working on the chain. So on the show, show. Yes, sir. Yeah. Broadcasting all over the world at urbanbroadcastmedia.com. Delivering love and inspiration 24-7. This is UBM Praise.
Hey, what is it? It's still the survival game. Let's play. Last one with the marble on the board wins. Your turn. Move a lever. I'm gonna block that strategy. I'm out. Me too. Uh oh. I win. I'm a sole survivor. Stay alive. The survival game from Milton Bradley. It certainly is a big bun. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Some hamburger places give you a lot less beef on a lot of bun. Where's the beef? At Wendy's, we serve a hamburger we modestly call a single. And Wendy's single has more beef than the Whopper or Big Mac. At Wendy's, you get more beef and less bun. Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. You want something better. You're Wendy's kind of people. The following show is paid programming and does not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. And now, our feature presentation. study, you can gain accurate application of this potent source of life here on the Sir Walter Jones Show. That's the man working on the chain, chain gang. Paul Lazarus. 1959 from the movie Old Brother Where Art Thou Y'all go see the movie Go check it out Well you can't go see it uh, you, you, Unless you're at home On your laptop <laughs> Good movie though Good movie It's a great movie Go to Redbox Well I don't even know If it's even there But just go Go on YouTube It's right there Readily available Free charge uh, Don't tell the Corn Brothers I said that uh, Yeah So we were talking about the This uh, uh, This Samaritan this, this good Samaritan Now uh, Abronia kind of chimed in here And she is um, Saying something very interesting here Let me go to it You know I have to Like preachers will say amen a few times Because we're trying to look for a thought Amen and uh, Amen 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 And Abronia Praise the Lord somebody Father, Oh you don't hear me Father <laughs> <laughs> I shall Praise the Lord yeah, Yes sir. My <laughs> So they played it on 1390. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Not right. this track, but that right. song. Right. And I thought about this show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're not allowed to say Brony's name on the, live on the air. Oh, Lord. Uh, the morning, because if we do, uh, yes, the we. angels will sing and the uh, album Uh-oh. will play the Casio. Uh-uh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brony Scott says, notice how the person whom the Jews hated is somehow always on the scene, especially when it comes to blessings. Mm. Yeah, and that's something. Uh, why, why do y'all think that Jesus used the Samaritan to be the to be the the savior in a sense, but used the priest and the Levite as a protagonist? Because those, those are desired positions. Those okay. are uh, uh, positions of st- their stat. It's about status for most people. Mm-hmm. Okay, like it was stated earlier, if there ain't no mm-hmm. camera or ain't no check, mm-hmm. I don't do it. Yeah. So he, he he had to show someone who was not interested in neither. Yep. But yet had means. Mm-hmm. Yet had means. Yeah. He yet had means. Yeah. Because when you have means, your means should mean something. Hello. <laughs> you Hello. Do something with the means. Hello. I, and I mean that. I mean Hello. it. <laughs> <laughs> For reals. Yeah. Go to Deuteronomy twenty six. Since we in uh, theology Thursday, uh, Deuteronomy twenty six and verse twelve, and let's see if we can make sense. Of where your monies go, those of you who are in church. Uh oh. Yeah. Wait Deuteronomy a minute. Now. What? You can't uh, talk about in the Old Testament. In 12, right, exactly. When you're doing more money. Yeah. 26 and 12. This is governmental <laughs> politics. <laughs> in church. <laughs> I like that man over there. Yeah, he all right. He all right. Let, let, 
He gives up my nerve, but I be missing. You got it over there in your King James? <laughs> yes, sir, the authorized version. Authorized, right. Yeah, that's right. Author- right. The authorized yeah, version. Being an MD, if you both know right. better. We ain't, we ain't <laughs> even, even going to talk about nope. that right Don't now. do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Okay, yo, I'm trying to leave it alone. No, don't mess with it. Stuck no. on that. No, I ain't stuck. King James. I'm rooted and grounded. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did King James use that translation for? Please, uh, please uh, 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 yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Read, baby. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy. Chapter 6, verse 12. 26, yes. verse 12. Mm-hmm. Then beware lest thou forgest the Lord, mm-hmm. which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt. From the house of bondage. You read now Deuteronomy 26. 26. Oh, 26. 26. I'm at 6. Man. I'm sorry. Thou hast paid it was, I'm King sorry. King I King said 6. It was sounding good, but it was. Wrong, 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 wrong house. Wrong See, block. Yeah, okay, See, 6 and 12. Your mind and you voice wasn't right. 26 and 12. 26 and 12. Read. Read. <laughs> When thou hast made an nice. end of tithing <laughs> all the tithe of thine increase uh-huh, all third year. How much of it? All. Okay. All. Uh huh. Which is the year of tithing. Yep. And has given it unto the Levite. Okay, you're going back there again. Mm-hmm. I have to. The stranger, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. Levite first, then the stranger. Yeah. Uh-huh. The fatherless, uh-huh. and my father did, so I get two. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm less a father. Uh-huh. Well. And the widow. Yeah. Uh-huh. That and okay, I'm leaving that one on. That, that they may eat you. within the gates and be filled. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then uh-huh. thou shalt say before the Lord thy God. Yeah. I have brought away. The hallowed things out of mine house, mm-hmm. and also have given them unto the Levite mm-hmm. and unto the stranger, mm-hmm. to the fatherless mm-hmm. and to the widow, mm-hmm. according to all thy commandments which thou hast commanded me. Oh. I have not transgressed thy commandments, neither have I forgotten them. Wow, mm-hmm. wow! Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, go to Deut- you and Deuteronomy. Go to twenty four nineteen. All right. Okay, this is very important because God cares about the poor. Even to the point with tell, telling you, okay, uh, this is just that year of the tithing. Mm-hmm. Take that and go outside. Yeah, mm-hmm. don't give it to them folk in that church. Mm-hmm. Now you give it to that Levite. Mm-hmm. That belongs to him because he got to eat. Mm-hmm. But you go out there and give it to them poor people, mm-hmm. all right? Because I asked somebody one day, I said, "Do your do your tithe ever go to the poor?" They said, "That don't belong to them people. That what? belong to my pastor." I said, "You oh, get, you going against the law? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If if you're gonna practice the law and your mm-hmm. tithing, you got to practice all of it, not all some of it. Of it. Yep. There you yeah. Go. So do it around twenty four nineteen. When thou cuttest down thine harvest in thy field and mm-hmm. hast forgotten the sheaf in the field, mm-hmm. thou should not go again to fetch it. What? It shall be for the stranger, Uh Mm -hmm. for the fatherless, Uh for the widow, Uh for the Lord thy God. May bless thee and all that work. Y'all got a garden in the backyard, yeah. And yeah. okay, and oh, you hey, sheaving and whatever. Contextualize that. When yeah. you yeah. drop a dollar on the street, mm-hmm. just walking look, down the street, look, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. leave it there. Leave it there. there. Yeah, oh, leave it there. I done drop it. Yeah, leave, if it falls to the ground, it ain't it's yours. Down, it's it's not yours. If you couldn't catch it, come on, see a penny, pick it up. All the day you have. Oh Lord, go to twenty. What is that? What happens if you see a quarter? The next one. Yeah. When thou beatest thine olive tree. Uh huh. Thou shall not go over the bowels again. Yeah. It shall be for the strange, oh, wow. for yeah. the fatherless, yeah. and for the widow. Yeah. yeah, wow. When thou gatherest the grapes of thy vineyard, uh-huh. thou shall not glean it afterward. Mm. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. I mean, what is he saying here? And thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in the land of Egypt. Oh, that's Therefore, what it is. Therefore, I command thee to do these oh, things. Oh, <laughs> that's what he's doing. Remember, you got delivered. Oh, yep. Come on now. That's very interesting. <sighs> yeah, yeah no, we live in the no, day no, now. No, no, I mean, that's very interesting for another reason. <clears throat> yeah. For those who um, feel as though the kindredness of the American black to the Egyptian in bondage of Egypt. Oh. Mm. Mm. you going to talk on another it. subject. Talk, oh, my God. Talk on it. Not really, man. Mm-hmm. You it's know, gonna, especially I mean, since, it's since how the church is so <laughs> in, in, entrenched into the black community. Mm-hmm. You know, you think of black heritage, you also think of the church as well. We used to. <laughs> you still, actually, you know what? <laughs> the problem is that's an internal problem, but guess majority of the world still sees it as the same, especially for those who are like have discovered a uh, gospel. And they put a, they put a in the front of it to make sure that you know what they're talking about black gospel. But in that same sense, that whole, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm keep going. Go ahead. Uh, I'm just going, that's I'm why going, I laugh. Cause I'm, I was like, Oh wait, <laughs> the, that charitable aspect. We were in bondage, (laughs) 
instead of like us seeing how to give or be charitable, we're basically sticking our hand out talking about where is ours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. see, see, okay, now you're touching on a thought. I always have this problem with my father's rich in housing and land, but we always want to hook up. Oh. oh. We always want to hook up. Oh. In other words, man, that costs what? Now, you go spend top dollar on name brand yes, to will. adorn yourself, but when it comes to a good or a service, you want to hook up. Mm -hmm. You want something for less. You, 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 you all in my or you should be. You should be doing this for me because. Mm -hmm. Oh, you all in my post the other day. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me ask y'all a question. Okay, uh, today's uh, flavor of the month for churches is uh, prosperity teaching. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Now sow a seed. All right. Sow a seed. All right. I believe in. I believe in sowing seed mm -hmm. in good ground. Of course. Yeah. I don't. I don't just sow what, a seed. What the pastor is not a good ground. No, I don't believe. <laughs> in, I don't believe in sowing a seed because it's a church. Because mm -hmm. every church house is not really ordained by God. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. So I don't just. That's like you taking your money and just throwing it in the wind yeah, because there's just wind. Pearls before swine. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you sowing good ground. I sowing good ground. Uh, Demonay. He was a, a part of my family, church family, Faith Temple in Evanston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He know about Bishop Moody yep, yep. and the worldwide work that he does. Absolutely. So I give my money to that church because I see the you see the work the work. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, but they're saying that they're they're preaching in the prosperity pre uh, word of God uh, uh, theology that is that God intends for everybody to be rich. Mm. Okay. All right. Now, 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 when they preach that and then t turn around and read where Christ says it is harder. It is easier for a camel mm -hmm. to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get in heaven. Um, is that preaching a bipolar gospel in a sense? Because if we're trying to tell everybody they, got, they God wants them all to be rich, but then Jesus says, but it is kind of difficult for this same rich man you're trying to say gets into heaven. Now we've got to break down what did Jesus mean by that. Now, you know, you and I, when you, we kind of went there a little bit on that okay mm -hmm. because some people were saying that their needle was uh this gate it's a gate at the city mm -hmm. okay and some people said that was not it mm. some all some, right some well, some they scholars say says they're not it that what was they were saying it was a sewing needle no they was yeah they were saying jesus is is he's speaking literal okay now here's here's why th that defense is that because okay historically was, that's inaccurate but go ahead yeah well, historically what's not what's accurate in sewing needle Okay, let the me, eye of the particular uh, needle, because mm -hmm. the needles that they had at that particular point in time were actually made from a plant, mm -hmm. most commonly known mm -hmm. as a yucca the plant. Yucca, uh -huh. And because I know those plants very okay. well, because I walked into one one <laughs> night while I was in the army. <laughs> <laughs> actually, did I say one? I mm -hmm. must have walked into every last one of them mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yucca. So, so let me ask you a question. Yucca. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yucca. <laughs> that's right. And yucca. that's the name. That's yeah. the name. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, silly. So let me ask you a question uh, that was, on that. That was over twenty five years ago and I still He's remember still that. Uh -huh. So so, so that is a plan and it's not so much a, a gate. Yes. Okay. No, no. The it's not. He's debating the, the legitimacy the of the eye of the needle. Well, you, uh, right. Opposed to it, the as plant. To it. Right. right. Okay. All right. Using Western terms uh -huh. to, in, to, to, uh -huh. under, to understand or interpret in a, uh, 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 Eastern, Eastern yep. suggestion uh -huh. okay. or explanation. Let me ask you this question then, because you know we have to know where to find literal reading opposed to uh, what's prescriptive as, as, and what's descriptive. descriptive. Right. Okay. When Jesus said to remove the mold out of your eye, was he being literal? Is there really mold in our eyes? Yeah. You know that yeah. stuff you wake up with in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> You know, especially if you got bad allergies, uh, uh, all that no, mold, you know. Actually, yeah. in the term that he was uh, going with that, we uh, most commonly call that sawdust. Sawdust. Okay, so was that being? No, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about that. Right, right. No, he was talking about stuff. sawdust because you had a four by four. Uh -huh. <laughs> the old four by four, which was actually four inches by four inches. Actually, it was more like a six by six. I yeah. can't. I know. I know. I know. I this, 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 this happens every day, Doc. I so, can't. is there a literal uh, beam in our eyes? What, what what Jesus be, being uh, literal no, about the beam? You can't get us. You can't get okay. a six by six in your eyeball. Okay. All right. Then let me ask you this you question. Can't put a toothpick but, in your eyes. Uh -huh. eye. Well, then let me ask you this question. <laughs> Would then if Jesus says if your if your eye or hand or something offend you, Cut then it off. does, was he talking literal? No. Okay. So then why is it? 
I ain't, told, I ain't seen nobody cut their hands off. Okay, the I, and you know, y'all know where I'm going. I'm like, oh, only oh, in the on, movie did I on. see idle hands. Uh-huh. And oh, I'm <laughs> sorry, the night gallery. Not the night, in the no, episode no, no, of night gallery. Adam's family. <laughs> oh no, was the well, out thing the wasn't thing. Thing, but mm-hmm. thing wasn't being maniacal or anything like that. <laughs> see, but idle hands, those hands was like. <laughs> And then a uh, night gallery, you know. Oh, this is a holy show. Don't you say night up. gallery? Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, this is a holy show. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Sven Gulli? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> okay, we're going that, way back. That was Sven Gulli. Sven. 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 And then Sven. He's still on the air. He, well, <laughs> and he should and he should have been talking like Yump and Yimini, but you know, no, hey. that's the son you, of Sven Gulli. Yeah. You know, no, 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 actually, he's, he's he uh, he, get, he got graduated. Yeah. Yeah. Berwin. Okay, okay. Let's keep going now. Come on, what you thought? The literal. I I think. <laughs> Wait a minute. Four bring it in. Bring, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. What, bring what it was the back. point again? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> the literal, the literal versus figurative. Thank yes, sir. You. Oh yeah, there we go. And I think, I think we can. I think you can glean from both. Okay. I think there are. I think, and if we if we move the text, if we move it forward, we understand that there are things that inhibit or prohibit vision. We're talking about the moat in your eye. Sure. Mm-hmm. You know, you can, and then we'll even go with your joke of the crust. Mm-hmm. You know, your vision is blurred, prohibited, not clear when you have whatever matter, in, matter, your matter in your eye, thus causes you not to see and then able to engage accurately what's in your space, mm. right? If your right hand offends you, cut it off so that it does not cause you to, now I'm just speaking freely to go under or cause yourself to to, to, to come fall. into to fall or then come to a space of demise cut that thing off so that it doesn't bring you down trapped in a ravine trapped in a ravine <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we have Stuck to by your head cut it off if right, you want to get out right right but i think we have to i can't with you i, I can't either i what? think i think but i think i think i think what we have to do we have to be really the question we're addressing and we're talking about the stuff that's going on in the community and I think these parables are important because there are those things that help us or make us lose focus. We've got things we've got things on us and in us that are causing not just us to fall, but others to fall. And we've got to do away with those things. Do we cut them off? No, but there were practices of the right hand. Okay. Ah. There were practices of the right Certain hand. Certain things you could only you, do with the that, right hand. Absolutely. Absolutely. In absolutely. fact, left handedness was looked down upon. Come, come on. And if you were innately left handed, they taught you they, to be right handed mm-hmm. because of the cultural meaning of the, of the right, right. hand. It's, yep. a, it's a yep. curse, and then mm-hmm. some people say. But look, well, then let's look at the, uh, the, the uh, tares in the wheat. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. And the, the Bible says, while my men were asleep, mm-hmm. the enemy came and sold tares among the wheat. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then what happens is uh, those of us who maybe leadership pastors what have it we try and pluck out the tear, the tear. but what we're doing we, we're picking we're up tearing some stuff of the up. wheat okay have you ever tried to fight dandelions in your in your grass and you, you went to the store and bought that dandelion killer uh, yeah, weed, weed, weed killer okay you killed some of the grass but right. notice what it says in the fine print it says you better kill the grass it says no it says test it on a small portion mm-hmm. so that you can see if it's going to kill your entire grass. Mm-hmm. They know it's going to kill the grass. Yeah. That's why yeah. they put it on there. It's called a disclaimer. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But well, yeah, the Bible doesn't have disclaimers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who? The Bible, that's a disclaimer. Sure don't. The Bible don't offer you disclaimers. That's right. It's going to do what it says it's, it's going to do. do. And God does not have a plan. Without excuse. God don't have a plan B. I've been telling folks. <laughs> he do not have a plan. That's why I tell people don't, 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 don't be, talk to me I'm about the, yeah. divine will and permissive will. Yeah. Ain't no such thing. Yeah, he don't have it's a plan. It's either B. his will or no oh, will at all. Yeah, and even if you pray to God and He don't answer, He already answered That's you. The answer. He said no. <laughs> <laughs> well, He might have said wait, but He answered you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, uh, principal is, is uh, talking about you, Doc. Uh, she said um, She's talking about you. I uh, just said uh, the guest pastor is on point. Thank you for your steadfastness in the word. Uh, right, until she meets you. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have to get back to basics, uh, Second Chronicles 7.14. Mm-hmm. We are so quick to protest against the police, but what about protest against the teens and gangs who yeah. are killing innocent bystanders? Yeah. The protesters should have searched for the shooters yep. that shot the four-year-old in the Hello, hello. Yeah, and she's on point there. Hello. Um, now, the, the whole purpose of this show is, brother, where art thou? Matter of fact, we got to read this so that y'all can, y'all can tear this up like y'all did the other ones, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, Genesis chapter four. 
Uh, All right. Uh, uh, and Adam knew Eve and his wife. That means they shook hands. <laughs> <laughs> in a horizontal way. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right. They, they, shook, they shook hands. Okay. Because, yeah, you know, something. the Bible says new. You got to know your brother. They okay. Uh, no. And, and, uh, <laughs> and she conceived. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, no. <laughs> I'll yeah. be your, your yeah. shelter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she conceived. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh-huh. And Bear King. Mm-hmm. Hey, bring it on back. Bring it on back. Bring it back on. Bring it back on. Bring it back on. Okay. And said, Reel it in. I have gotten a man from the Lord. Uh huh. And she, right. The, 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 the one who the kettle is calling. <laughs> Ooh, anyway. like, uh-uh. And she again. <laughs> she's just amazing. And she again bear his brother, Abel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, a lot of times when we read the scriptures, we think it happened a day after each other. <laughs> okay. <Man. laughs> it's amazing how we do that. Uh, and, sh- and she again bears brother Abel, and Abel was the keeper of the sheep, but Cain was the till of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought out the fruit of the ground and offered until the Lord. And Abel, he also brought the firstlings of his, fir- of his flock and of the fat thereof, and of the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect, and Cain was very wroth, and uh, his countenance fell. Okay, here we go. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou dost well, thou shalt not be accepted. Uh, and if thou dost, now that was a question, by the way. And if thou dost not well, sin lies at the door, and unto thee shalt be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel, thy brother? Mm -hmm. And he said, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Am I my brother's keeper? Okay. And he said, what hast thou done? And the voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me in the ground. Now, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. You can say something. I was going to say, every time I read that or hear that, Mm -hmm. I always say, wow, God was so merciful. Yeah. Because if my child say to me, am I my brother's keeper? Well, I ask you, thank you. That was, Damn. how you going to sass God? <laughs> that was God. I love it. <laughs> your, your hands are too short to box. Right? Oh, man. Well, God. Okay, so why do you think, uh, number, just, actually, you just brought up another one, which brings me up with another question here. Why do you think Cain's response was that? And why do you think God did not right away take care of him the way, you, the way it should have been, obviously? Well, he was, one, you become your most defensive when you're guilty. Mm-hmm. True. So I think his response was. Who's response? Cain's, Cain's response uh-huh. was out of his guilt. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then God's response was God is innately merciful. Yeah. Yeah. If there's such a thing as God being innately anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think there's an opportunity, too. I mean, look at the line of questioning that, that God levies to him, giving him opportunity each time to go. Come clean. Come clean to Come to clean. speak to yeah. whatever the the issue is, and and isn't it like us? Actually, that happens a lot. You see in the Bible, yeah. it's, it's a Q and A where it's set up. Even when Jesus come on the scene, yeah. when people come to him and everything like that, uh, there's a text that's in the non-canonized in the Gospels of Philip, mm-hmm. but it's where Peter comes to Jesus asking him, "How can he love Mary?" so mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. she's got she's just a woman mm-hmm. and jesus came back to him like it's not how can i love her more than you it's like how can i not love you as much as much mm-hmm. and then i was like these type scenarios in which we put in i'm I, it resonates with me because my father actually raised me this way mm-hmm. that's how i always knew i was into you know i got into something and he found out about it mm-hmm. before i was planning on doing it was all in the way he came to me and the way he presented it and i'm going like uh oh so then I then you start the whole thing of backpedaling. Unlike him, like getting defensive, mm-hmm. you start backpedaling, trying to like, if you say the wrong thing, yep. you got it. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a wonderful example of how he examines <clears throat> you with his questions to get you to be reflective. I was just about to say, you got exactly. to examine yourself. You yes. can't, it's like, you can lie to me, uh-huh. but you're not going to lie to yourself. Yep. But well, we lie to ourselves more than we realize. I, yeah. Oh, man, please. Yeah, that and fast. That, that, right. If there's one person in the world you need to be upfront with, because there's nothing in the world worse than everybody know that you like BSing yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, and you, but you're the last one to know. But everybody in the room knows, like, yeah. this fool. 
It's BSL. <laughs> is that a degree? That's, that's like yeah, cash. Yeah, okay. exactly. All right. So, so in walks. I could have said it like the wife. Yes, you could have. Uh, the, the no, 16th, baby. She ain't here. <laughs> she ain't here. Yeah, don't do it. The, the 16th verse through the 24th verse talk about the ungodly line of Cain. God allowed him to live and have children and have a generation because he was trying to set him up. But if you look at 24, it says, If Cain shall be then sevenfold, truly Lamech, uh, Lamech which is Cain's great, great. Mm-hmm. Son, uh, seventy and sevenfold. So Jesus came and corrected what Lamech said. Uh, uh, basically, when Jesus said, "How many times we should forgive our brothers?" Seven. Seven yeah, uh huh. And one day, uh huh. Yeah. So he was correcting that line, that evil line of Cain. It's a wonderful way of exegeting the, the scriptures. And Jesus, again, whenever he spoke and he says, "Have you not heard?" He was quoting himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And confirming himself. Yeah, yeah, and confirming himself. Hey, listen, we're going to the last break of the hour. We are the world. Let's go there. Uh, March 7, nineteen eighty-five. A song of charity, y'all. Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, Lionel Richie, and the gang. The devil, daddy. So what the show? Go on to urbanbroadcastmedia.com and check out the many services Urban Broadcast Media provides. Whether it's social media, video production, radio broadcasting, or audio recording, we got you covered. Thank you. 
Julie Norwood with 60 seconds of cool inspiration for your day. Well, it's easy to allow things, talents, skills, gifts, or titles to determine your self-worth. When we do that, we become skewed in our own self-worth. And it's based on performance and not the truth of who we really are. You know what? God views us as his child. And our failures, our bad habits, our self-image, our weaknesses, our poor performances have nothing to do with who we are and how God loves us. On the contrary, when we look down on ourselves, we actually can hinder ourselves with our own skewed self-worth. Today, make the necessary adjustments to see yourself as a child of God. What lies do you need to stop believing and what truths do you need to start believing? 60 Seconds of Cool Inspiration with Julie Norwood. For more inspiration, check out my webpage, julienorwood.com. God loves you and he has an awesome plan for your life. The following show is paid programming and does not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. The Word of God is powerful, often misunderstood, but with proper study, you can gain accurate application of this potent source of life here on the Sir Walter Jones Show. We are the world. You talked about me. We be the people. <laughs> We are the one to make it brighter day. Let's start giving. Y'all know that other song? Uh, band, I think it's called from Band Aid or something like that, where they say, "Too bad it's it's what." Well, thank God it's you. Wait, thank God it's them and not and not you. What? There, there's a lyric in the song uh, during Christmas oh, time. Oh yeah, let, let do they know, know that it's Christmas time? Yeah. Then all. they say thank, and he says, "Thank God it's them and not you." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's why not, would you put lyrics in together like that? That does not sound good. That That's country, be, though. Yeah. Somebody that doesn't sound good at all. Yeah. That, that was telling you better be grateful and give uh-huh. God praise. You know, uh-huh. the country music will always yeah. find yeah. a way to twist it. <laughs> it was yeah. really like, that that was, was, it was horrible. Not you. That was, yeah. That, <laughs> no, that was a was band aid. I think it was band aid. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was a British thing. Wasn't yeah, it was a British. It was British. Yeah. Uh, fee, uh, Feed the world. Yeah. Them. Either that one, you know, they had two of them. They're right. That, 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 that was a one. British thing. That's what gave uh, uh, well, we Mike and a, Quincy the idea to do it here, too. Yeah. Well, you know, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other one about it, you know, Christians, we say some of the weirdest catchphrases. And oh, one. Bring back my show. Yeah, yeah. The weirdest catchphrases. And one yeah, of them come is. Come with the gospel jingles, man. Come we're, on. We're <laughs> at, uh, <laughs> we could be at the, we're at a funeral, okay? And we're talking about, and we always say this, we'll say, you know, God, God loved John more 
then we loved that him. Was one of my top okay, ten, don't ever All say right. it again. Yeah, that God loved him more than he took him. And but John was riding down the street, and a big old semi came <laughs> and beheaded him because he was on his bicycle. Mm-hmm. That's how much God loved him. There you go. Yeah, that's okay. exactly the analogy I gave really? when I said <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. He, whole show. he loved <laughs> him so much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he loved yeah. him so much that he couldn't take him in his sleep. He couldn't. You just say he loved him like that. No, or he, he, could, or he couldn't take him right after he had a nice little time with the wife. There you he had to take him. Ah! Boom. You see, that's see, love. Now, if you really love me, God, let me come and go at the same time. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Come and go to the land. Come and go to the land. I can't. I can't. I can't. Alvin is back. Father. Yeah, Alvin. Come, on, <laughs> come to Bush Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> in the garden of bread. I can't. Y'all wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't even say her name. Is that? <laughs> I didn't even say her name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, now that we're getting ready to repent, uh, <laughs> I'm married. I'm, I'm married to repent for us. I'm, I'm married. married. I I'm Baptist. We don't repent. Yes. Oh Lord, See, I'm the only. You know what? You gonna be excommunicated? You gonna be non-denominational? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he just non. <laughs> I heard he just non. Uh, yeah. So uh, as we pull on in, um, I can't. I can't. Uh, you didn't do, you, I, I can't you, even you, go there. It's no, 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 no. That's right. Yeah. 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 Let's center our minds. Stop. Yeah, center our minds. Focus yeah. on glory. <laughs> Boosha. Boosha. Yeah, so going full circle, all right? We have here again. We have a uh, Nicolai Do- De Monet from uh, New York, New York, New York. New York, yeah, right? New York. Hey, Archie. Yeah, he's from Wayland Miller. He's Miller. from all in the family t- uh, territory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, and I we we're talking about uh, outreach and um how and really what we were gonna do we had a, we had a special guest who was gonna come here T C uh, Williams. Williams was gonna come on the show he has an, a, a shelter and and he does wonderful outreach on his. Sh- on, at his church and what's the other brother uh, uh, uh pastor wallace okay on uh 75th 70th, mm-hmm. yeah 75th in cottage grove okay yeah you and, mean i get to come back when they come yeah yeah, yeah. they'll be back tomorrow <laughs> i get to come back yeah tomorrow. yeah yeah so I they're, they're hiding myself back then they'll be <laughs> and the man the mic is always open so so yeah, we, we couldn't get them in because of, because right. of some things that happened but they're coming on tomorrow we're going to continue with a part two uh, more on uh, uh, feeding the hungry, sh- uh, uh, shelters, uh, going after the the men out there. Yeah. Uh, I I like I'm I'm kind of glad that this did happen because this way Demone was able to focus more so uh, on uh, being present yeah. as a pastor yeah. and uh, walking the streets, being on the bus and the train where well, you can shake hands with folk and not reading in, in the paper on yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Uh, because it seems like that's where a lot of pastors are getting their news from. Absolutely, is from Facebook. from from Facebook and what they're seeing on TV and what they're Keep hearing, and they don't even yeah 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 yeah. Off of Facebook. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah yeah, and that that's a good outro, man. What's that? What's that? Uh, the Williams it's Williams singers. Oh, yeah, oh, <laughs> play it on the outro. The, the, uh, okay. the history of the uh, okay. yeah the quartet. So uh, so, mm-hmm. so interestingly, the church should not be seen by its building the community. They they should see the church in the community in the community because isn't that the church? Yes, that's the, the church. That's the body. We the humans. Use it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have confusion. No, and, you, and not that you, you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes, you are. Now I'm gonna go back in time a bit. Uh, my first time ever visiting New Orleans was a year after Katrina. New Orleans. And when I was down there, <laughs> I was seeing certain buildings, and I was asking my uncle, who's a pastor then down there, and I said. So the storm did that to that building? The storm did that? He said, man, it's been like that. Oh, mm. no. Some of those buildings, I'm talking shotgun shacks. And then, mm-hmm. so as we begin to drive me through the community, because my uncle is in, um, is a native of Chicago. So it was like culture shock to go south and pastor. Mm-hmm. And he says, look at this, look at this. Now watch this. As he turned the corner, huge, beautiful edifice. Yeah. Right in the middle of the block next to all these shacks. You went by Morton's church. No, I didn't go by Morton's church. You never went by oh, that. I'm sorry. I'm Ooh. Sorry. In fact, I, I can tell you off the air. <laughs> it too late you know, now. After he said, "Open the floodgates of heaven," <laughs> <laughs> let it rain. <laughs> That's what you said. How cold the water was. Um, 
See, you got another meal over there. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's, but the point I was trying to make in the black community, yeah, the focus was on the church and the edifice and how it looked more than the community itself. Mm-hmm. And there, you know, you drive a block, drive a few blocks, and then the community changed, and drive a few blocks, and changed again. Mm-hmm. When you saw the communities in the other church, other people, the churches in the other communities, quote unquote, mm-hmm. they were not as beautifully adorned as the you have some powerful work going on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. they were the ones doing the charity when they came back into the other community. Yeah. yeah. We've got to get back. We get so caught up. But here's the thing. You only get caught up when you realize you don't have much substance to give in the first place. Yeah. It Full becomes bread. E- yeah, it becomes easy to take the money. I, I'm not I got so angry about a church in this city and I'm not going to say it. Say the name. <laughs> but but you <laughs> but you build this major sanctuary, multi-million dollar sanctuary Ooh. in the middle of the one of the most financially depressed communities. You don't so you don't so. have you don't have really programming that's affecting the livelihood of that community. In fact, people in that community have to pay for events in that in your worship center, you know. That's uh, kind of so, south. Well, I I'm not I'm I'm not saying nothing. No, I'm what, not saying. what 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 happens the meek shall inherit the earth. Father Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But yes, so, sir. but here's my here's my point. The because we're co- way. but but we get in his way. <laughs> <laughs> we get in his way. We can't make we can't do nothing because you bu- you busy trying to get money to build this building while homes and lives around you are dying. So the money that you're building that you're taking to build these humongous edifices that are just going to hold powerless people, you can take that money and empower the people in the community. Why not bring education programs in? How about cutting about three thousand of those seats? And then bringing in initiatives that will teach people how to deal with money, that will teach people how to read so that they can then go out and be present in that that will give and and we can do it. We can do it. I've seen it happen. We're doing it in New York. Parenting classes because you've got single parents out here, single mothers out here trying to raise knuckleheads who just don't get it. What? what yeah, it sounds altruistic because we, we get in the way. Yes, sir. We get yeah. in the way of it. Kind of wake up. We got wake up every. Everybody, you yes. Put it in right, we gotta get out of the. Oh Lord, see you follow me. I'm one of those preachers, man. You follow me. I, I sing. Well, I, I sing, and you'll be playing in another key, and I'll be like, I don't want to be in that key. I'm jumping over here. Get with me. Uh, uh, <laughs> but you sing and play. Yeah, I don't hear it in that key right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we gotta get out of the way. We have to get out of the way. And that's the problem that I'm feeling right now. We got folks who are trying to be famous, who are trying to be rich, uh, and it's and everybody's dying in the process. And then don't let that leader die. And then all that everything dies. dies. With, yeah, because it's personality everything based. dies. Everything dies. Like I said, there's one entity that we reverence in the house, and we give all of our focus to that entity. And hey, that's, one man, you know, where and, the praise. Look, look, and that's God. Take down the prominent seats, take down your thrones, take down all of that, and get to the work at hand. Amen. If people are dying in your community, it's a shame before God. It's shame. a shame before God. It is a shame. What would you suggest a church do if they trained, empowered, and equipped the people in the membership to rotate as um, watchmen of the community? Say, say that again. What, how how effective do you think if a, a prominent church in every community trained and empowered members that are saved, sanctified, mm-hmm. filled with the Holy Ghost, mm-hmm. Bible, biblically based, biblically grounded, and equip them to patrol and the community? The kingdom suffereth violence. I love when people use this text. Because uh, they just beat it up. And the violent take it by, take force. It by force. We we messed up. Oh, yeah, we messed that up. Whatever. Time. But I come. I think about because uh, you know, like Deacon do dirty with a gun. But, <clears throat> if you want a title? Put a gun with it. Oh hey, my Lord. Can you walk oh. the streets? Are you oh. bold enough to oh. walk the streets with a gun with these gunslingers? <laughs> come on, no. But look, not. because um, who is it? The guardian angels. Yeah. When the guardian angels are around, everybody toes the line. Well, 
Mm-hmm. When when look, Doctor Wright was going through they what he was going through. I don't know. No, they're not run out of Chicago. They only hang on the north side, north side of Chicago. Right, actually, because it's they more violent the over there. No, yeah, no, yeah. not where they are. Well, peep this though. <clears throat> but here's my point. Mm-hmm. Um, I lived up there. Me too. No. Mm-hmm. Doctor Wright, when Doctor Wright traveled Which after right? all of that craziness, Doctor oh. Jeremiah. Oh yeah, him. Louis Farrakhan sent the nation. Anywhere he went, oh yeah, the nation was there yeah. to make sure Der- Jeremiah Wright was taken yeah, because they was messing with him. People was messing with him based yeah. upon sound bites, yeah. and that yeah. was so wrong. Yeah, I came up under Doctor Wright, but I'm saying is, we've got the resources. Yeah, we used to do it. Yeah, we used to do it. Kingdom suffered violent, and the violent take it by force. Then got dog it, do it. <laughs> No, he got some no Coward show up. Shoulders, show, shoulders, up. Scout, show up, show up. Look, but that's it. Show up. Well, you see, you show can't up. Doctor King, Doctor King what? didn't mind is, getting on the front line. Doctor King didn't mind getting on the front line. That, that's and, my point. And, and you have and, nobody that's willing to put s- themselves out there. I'm here. I look. I'm here. We should do a social. Let me stop those because I tried. It. No, I tried. Right, Walt. What's I tried. What? I tried. I put oh, myself. Yeah, yeah. I put myself in the front. Yeah. Oh, I don't need some. no cameras. I don't need no. I'm here. I will stand out on 49th and King. Where's it? Where's it worse? Tell me where it's worse. Tell me where it's worse. Yeah, and and let me let me find real. five <laughs> bishops. I'm calling on bishops now. Let me find five bishops. Man, call a couple of apostles with well, you too. Because I, I know well, a couple of them that talk well, real come on. tough. Well, come on. Let's do it. I'm here until Sunday. I'll give you Saturday night. I will meet you Saturday night at 9 o'clock. Let's stand there. Let's pray. Let's pour in. It don't cost money to do it. Right. No, we can't because the Saturday Night Sing will be on and Tav Harris will be wearing a, a, a plastic suit. Oh, uh, I mean, you, but you, do you see where I'm at, Walt? You I see do. where I'm at? I got to get I off think, the air. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. I'm out sorry. Out I got to go. What? That's, uh, that's the yeah, world, bro. Yeah. That yeah. was the rudest. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> got to go. Like, and now. <laughs> got to go. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, no, I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about it. And it's not even, you ain't even got to go deep in your Bible. You ain't got to exit. No Farrakhan deep scripture. Mike Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Farrakhan let him have it. But then he said, I'm yeah. sorry. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. Listen, y'all, uh, Matthew 11, uh, let's see, 12 says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violence take it by force. Uh, the proper um, scriptural exegete of that is going to Luke 16. It's 16. Come on, come on, bring it. It says, The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached. And every man presses them to it. Basically, what that's saying is, if you preach the gospel, the people are so excited about the gospel that they're trying to press in to get into the kingdom. Passionate. And we have used this thing uh, to wherever we want to do it, and then, um, we don't know how to read. Justify right, just, just, yeah, you know, just, I, right? You know, I'm just about saying, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm just about about it. No, 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 no. no so if if we're doing what Demono is saying here, going into the streets and compelling them, going that, to the highways and byways and compelling them with the love that you mentioned, that's it. Uh, then they'll know that you are my disciples by. By your, by, love, your love. by your love, and how do we love with our all, with all of our heart, uh-huh. our, our minds, minds, and our, our souls, souls, and, and all our that good strength? Stuff. Yeah, and that is the preaching. That is the gospel right there, and that's going to save men's soul. And right if there. I die, mm-hmm. let me die. Let me go ahead in the army of, of the Lord. Lord. That's my time. Demo Lane, thank you, brother. I'm coming back tomorrow. Please, oh, yeah. please be here tomorrow. Same time, same back channel. That's right. Count we, yeah. Demone. Ca- oh, count. Lord. We can uh, count uh, on Demone. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean it on Saturday. I know the corner. I'm there. Yes, sir. Let's hear from the Williams Singers. A little history of the uh, quartet music. Dion, thank you, man. The baddest engineer and producer in the world. See you tomorrow, y'all. So I'll join the show. been listening to the sir walter jones radio show where he provides you with a biblical perspective for your everyday life stay connected to sir walter jones by visiting him online at www.sirwalterjones.com or on facebook at www.facebook.com slash the sir walter jones show Stay tuned until next time with the Sir Walter Jones Show with Sir Walter Jones. If you can't find any work, I'll put in a good word for you in my job, man. You ain't got no job, man! Yeah!
Yeah, one more time. Randy Watson, how about it? <laughs> if I went to Israel, I don't think Israel would be the best place for me to be at this time considering the view that most Jews have of Louis Farrakhan. You go to Nigeria, which is, if not the most corrupt nation in Africa, and it is, it could be the most corrupt nation in the world, Minister Farrakhan. Oh, and now, Mr. Wallace. It is the most corrupt nation that I have ever covered. I've been there 25 years ago, and I've been there as recently as last year. Fine. So what? 35 years old. That's what that nation is. Now, here's America, 226 years old. You love democracy, but it, they're in Africa. You're trying to force these people into a system of government that you just have accepted 30 years ago. Black folk got the right to vote. You're not in any moral position to tell anybody how corrupt they are. You should be quiet and let those of us who know our people go there and help them get out of that condition. But America should keep her mouth shut wherever there's a corrupt regime as much hell as America has raised on the earth. No, I will not allow America or you, Mr. Wallace, to condemn them as the most corrupt nation on earth when you have spilled the blood of human beings. Has, has Nigeria dropped an atomic bomb and killed people in, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Have they killed off millions of Native Americans? How dare you put yourself in that position as a moral judge? I think you should keep quiet. Because with that much blood on America's hands, you have no right to speak. I will speak because I don't have that blood on my hand. Yes, there's corruption there. Yes, there's mismanagement of resources. Yes, there is abuse. There's abuse in every nation on earth, including this one. So let's not play holy to moralize on them. Let's help them. I'm not moralizing. I'm asking a question, and I got an answer. Why would you put it as the most corrupt regime in the world? That doesn't make sense. Can you think of one more corrupt? Yeah, I'm living in one. I'm living in one. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's trace our roots. Let's trace our roots. Our quartet root. Quartet root. We had a acapella singing. Acapella, nothing more. It's like the Fairfield Four. Fairfield Four. But then we heard a new a sound. New sound came along. It was the guitar. The guitar came on strong. And you heard it with groups like the, the Soul Sisters and the Dixie Hummingbirds. Well, the It sounded like me. Mm, got it in my feet. But can we take a trip to Jackson, Mississippi? Quartet found its heart beat there. Cause one of the first quartets to incorporate drums was the Jackson Southern Nest. And it brought power. Yes, it did. So much power. Now we've got to thank the brothers for bringing in a new frontier. Bringing new grooves and melodies. And the keyboard you hear And don't forget about the cantos Who told us another thing We only got a heart But we can take time to shine uh. So here we are A new generation of quartet singers We hope you like this new sound of quartet I really hope it You better get used to hearing the sound because fun that day going no way.